Hello, mighty companions. Hello, mighty companion. This is Earl Raj Purdy. I'm here to do. I am here to do lesson 3:30 in A Course in Miracles. Lesson 3:30, which is, I will not hurt myself again today. I will not hurt myself again today. I will not hurt myself again today. You will not hurt yourself again today. You will not hurt yourself again today. Let us this day accept forgiveness as our only function. Let's accept forgiveness as our only function today. Why should we attack our minds? Why should we attack our minds and give our minds images of pain? Why should we teach our minds that they are powerless? I say, why should we teach our minds our minds are powerless? When God holds out his power and God holds out its love and God holds out her power and God holds out her love and bids them take what is already theirs. God asks you take what is already yours. The mind that is made willing to accept God's gifts, the mind that is made willing to accept God's gifts has restored a man that has been made willing to accept God's gifts has been restored to spirit, restored to spirit, and that man extends its freedom, that man extends its joy, as is the will of God, you name it with its own, as is the will of God, you name it with its own, the self which God created cannot sin. The self that God created cannot sin. I say the self that God created cannot sin. So the self that God created cannot suffer. The self that God created cannot suffer. The self that God created cannot suffer. Let us choose today that God be our identity. Let us choose today that love be our identity. Let us choose today that love be our identity and thus escape forever from all things the dream of fear appears to offer us. Let us escape forever from all things the dream of fear appears to offer us. Let us escape forever from all things the dream of fear appears to offer us. Father, your son cannot be hurt. You as a child of God cannot be hurt. And if we think we suffer, if we think we suffer, we but fail to know our one identity we share with you. If we think we suffer, it means that we are failing to know our one identity we share with you. God, we would return to our one identity we share with God today. We would return to the one identity we share with you today, God, to be made free forever from our mistakes, to be made free, to be made free forever from our mistakes, to be made free forever from our mistakes, all our mistakes, to be made free forever from all our mistakes and to be saved from what we thought we were we return to our identity as you created us so that we can be saved from what we thought we were i will not hurt myself again today mm. i will not hurt myself again today you will not hurt yourself again today you will not hurt yourself again today. 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 
You will not hurt yourself again today. You will not hurt yourself again today. You will not hurt yourself again today. I will not hurt myself again today. I will not hurt myself again today. I will not hurt myself again today. You will not hurt yourself again today. You will not hurt yourself again today. Tell yourself, I will not hurt myself again today. I will not hurt myself again today. Take a stand. I will not hurt myself. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not hurt myself again. I will not hurt myself again today. You will not hurt. You will not. You will not hurt yourself again today. This is Earl Raj Purdy. Check out my classes on audio and video at www.earlperdy.com. And let peace extend from my mind and heart to yours. And make the vow that I will not hurt myself again today. You will not hurt yourself. You will not hurt yourself again today. Hello, my Hello, mighty companions. We're going to cover the the theme for our workbook lessons right now, which is what is creation? What is creation? What is creation? The course says creation is extension. So what is creation means what is extension? What is creation means what is extension? So I want you to hear this with me right now. Just hear this with me right now. <clears throat> creation is the sum of all God's thoughts. In number infinite and everywhere without all limit, creation is the sum of all God's thoughts. Only love creates and only like itself. Only love creates and only like itself. Listen to me now. There was no time when all that love created was not there. Nor would there be a time when anything that love created suffers any loss. Forever and forever are God's thoughts exactly as they were, as they are, unchanged throughout time and after time is done. Forever and forever are God's thoughts exactly as they were. God's thoughts are given all the power that their own creator has, for God would add to love by love's extension. Thus, God's creation, God's son, you, shares in creation. So you must therefore share in the power to create. You must therefore share in the power to create. What God has willed to be forever one will still be one when time is over. What God has willed to be forever one will still be one when time is over and will not be changed throughout the course of time, remaining as it was before the thought of time began. In other words, creation is the opposite of all illusions. Creation is the opposite of all false ideas. For creation is the truth. Creation is the truth. Creation is the Holy Son of God. For in Creation is God's will complete in every aspect, and creation is God's will complete in every aspect, making every part container of the whole. Creation's oneness is forever guaranteed and violent. That means creation's oneness is forever held within God's holy will. That means beyond all possibility of harm, beyond all possibility of separation, beyond all possibility of imperfection and of any spot upon his sinlessness. We are one creation. We are the sons of God. We are one creation. We are the children of God. We are one creation. We are the children of God. We seem to be discreet and unaware of our eternal unity with God. We seem to be unaware of our eternal unity with God. Yet, back of all our doubts, past all our fears, there still is certainty. Back of all our doubts and past all our fears, there still is certainty. But love remains with all love's thoughts, love's sureness being theirs. Love remains with all love's thoughts. God's memory is in our holy minds. God's memory is in our innocent minds. God's memory is in our innocent minds, which know their oneness and their unity with their creator. Your holy mind knows its oneness, its oneness and its unity with its creator. Let our function be only to let this memory return. Let our function be only to let this memory return. Only to let God's will be done on earth. Let's let God's will be done on earth. You let God's will be done on earth only to be restored to sanity only to be restored to sanity and to be but as God created us 
our Father calls to us, our Father calls to us, our Creator calls to us, our Creator calls to our Creator calls to us, calls to us, our Creator calls to us. We hear our Creator's voice and forgive creation in the name of creation's Creator. We forgive creation. We forgive creation. We forgive creation in the name of this creator. We forgive creation, holiness itself, innocence itself. Whose innocence, whose holiness, God's own creation shares. We share God's innocence, God's holiness. We share God's creation, all the qualities of God's creation, whose innocence and holiness is still part of us. I say, what is creation? What is creation? Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts. Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts. The sum of all God's thoughts is creation. What is creation? What would it take for you to recognize what creation is in ways beyond your wildest imagination through the Holy Spirit within you? So ask this question right now. So ask this question. Live in the question. Go, what is creation? What is creation? What is extension? What is extension means what is creation? What is creation? So take that thought is the sum of all the thoughts of love. That's creation. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah.